Hey guys, I ran the app in the iOS emulator and I noticed a few differences that I wanted to fix. The first is there appears no border at the bottom of the text and also you'll notice it looks like it's meshing into the top, the little scroll, this thingy, um, the menu at the top. So we're going to push it down a little bit so it doesn't conflict. But first, this border. So how I think I want to deal with that is we got the border to show up here and we just added that to the touchable opacity which we also have here because we want to be able to click them. So I'm thinking we just moved the border style um, to the touchable opacity for that. So what I'm going to do is just create another style here that takes the uh, border style that we want which is these two right here. So I'm going to create a new one called bottom border. And we're just gonna copy those two styles and move them here. And so that shouldn't we just shouldn't see anything different here for now because we have a need to add it to our touchable opacity. So add our style, and we're gonna say styles.bottom border. And I'm just gonna add it to the first two. I don't think the last one needs it since it's right up against the edge here anyway. Okay, nice. So now we see this little split that we have in the Android one too. And this should work on the Android app as well since we are uh, using the same thing for buttons and the buttons show up in the Android. Now this conflicting up here, it looks okay on Android. So I don't really want to just change uh, this padding top is what we're using. What I really want is something, for example, this is iOS, so it looks like it has a thicker menu. I want it to look differently on iOS than Android. And there is a way to do that on React Native. There's a package called, um, and this comes from React Native, called Platform. And in the platform, we can specify, or it'll tell us what the OS is. So if I say platform.os, um, this is either going to be equal to iOS or Android, depending on what they are. So I can say iOS. So if it's iOS, maybe we do 30. Otherwise, we do 20 pixels to push it down. So we notice that looks a little bit better. Maybe like two more. It looks like it's bashing the top a little bit. Um, that looks pretty good. I'm not really sure if I went up against the edge or not. This is the iPhone 5. I'm thinking this looks pretty good. Maybe I want it up against right about the edge. Not really sure what's uh, what other apps look like on the iPhone X. I'm going to leave this for now. We might change that in the future. But you can use this to uh, target specific code if you want it only to run on iOS or only to run on Android. Now I'm pretty happy with how the app is looking. So I kind of want to get feedback from you guys. What If you want to see anything else, uh, features added to the calculator, I'm happy with it. And I'm going to be using this as my new calculator because I prefer this over regular calculators. I was thinking of adding one thing as an undo button so let me know if you're interested in adding, uh, seeing what an undo button looks like and maybe I'll add a couple if we add, end up doing that so we add another row. Or if there's anything else in particular you'd like to see added to the calculator um, I'd be happy to do a, a couple of features, add them on so you guys can see how to implement some different stuff. Otherwise, I'm excited to actually release this guy on the App Store. That's what I want to do next. Um, unless there's anything you guys want to see added to this. So first is uh, deploying this to the Expo Store. So if you don't know what that is, um, you know how we've been using Expo to um, run our app as we are um, de debugging, right? So I can run the thing and open up an Expo app. They actually have a store online where you can download other apps and use them. And then we're going to deploy it to Android and iOS store so you can now download it on your phone if you want to. So I'll show you guys how to take it all the way from developing and putting it on the store. But that's it for this video guys. Let me know what suggestions you have and I'll see you in the next